Hello, this is Kai Harrison, and this is another PC tutorial. Today we're doing a revision of a tutorial I did quite a while ago. Um, it recently got part, um, sorry, revenue shared on YouTube, um, where you earn money from advertisements and views. And um, I thought I'd make a revision on the new iTunes. Um, so here we go. So um, obviously the, like, the last tutorial, it's about um, the fact that sometimes you get an exclamation mark next to one of your songs, um, and it's usually because it's been misplaced, deleted, um, iTunes can't find it. So uh, with one or two songs this is okay, either delete the song or search for the location, but if you have more than ten or you know, quite a lot of songs which you need um, searching for, it can get a bit um, boring or you know, just take too long. So this is a really short method to replace your songs. So first you need to quit iTunes and then open up your Explorer libraries and um, search for music for your iTunes folder and with that you want to drag and drop your iTunes music library onto your desktop and then drag your iTunes library into the recycling bin after you've done that you want to restart iTunes and you should see that all your music is gone now to uh, get it all back you need to click library and import playlist from there you go to your desktop and pick up the file again and what it should do is import that list for you you'll see that as it imports the list it will create new folders for your music and you can then delete the one on the desktop. Make sure you delete it after it's been importing. So as you watch, it's importing every single song. Um, I didn't have any missing ones, but I know this works, obviously, because um, what made me do the tutorial a couple of years ago is because I had the same problem, and I looked on the Apple website, and they explained it to me. So here we go, all the folders are back. And we don't need that folder so we can empty that. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope that helped you out and if you want to see my previous tutorial on the same thing but for an earlier version of iTunes you can click the link in the description. Um, thanks for watching, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe.